Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to. Hello and welcome. In this video lecture, we have got the class 9 mathematics 2018 paper 2, and uh, we are going to solve question number 2 that is from our chapter sets and function. So, in this year, we have uh, a choice in either part A or part B of question number 2. So, let's, uh, let's first of all solve the part A. So, in part A, we have a universal set uh, from 1 to 10 and we have two sets A and B and that are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 respectively. We have to prove this statement that uh, A union B whole complement is equals to A complement intersection B complement. So this statement is actually the De Morgan's law. So this is De Morgan's law and uh, we have to verify this de morgan's law so let's start with right hand side of uh, this expression and uh, in the right hand side we have to find the value of a union b whole complement so for this uh, a union b whole complement let's first of all find the value of uh, a union b so a union b so for a union b we are given with two sets a and b so if we take the union of these two sets a and b so union of these two set will become one two three four five six eight and ten so this is the uh, a union B then in the second part we will find the A union B whole complement so for this we will subtract this A union B from our universal set so the universal set is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 and we will subtract the a union b that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 and 10 so if we subtract these uh, same element from these two sets 1 2 3 4 5 6 will be cancelled out with this and uh, only remaining elements will be 7 and 9 so in this way finally we got the answer of a union b whole complement that is equal to 7 and 9 so this is the result of uh, left hand side of this de morgan's law now let's come to the left hand uh, right hand side of uh, so the previous one was the left hand side now we are going to solve the right hand side of this de morgan's law that says that a complement intersection b complement so first of all we will find a complement for this we will subtract set a from universal set so the universal set we have is uh, 1 till 10 and the set A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So if we subtract these sets, uh, these elements from the universal set, we will get the result as uh, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So this is the result of A complement then we will find b complement that will be equals to universal set minus set b universal set is from 1 till 10 and uh, the set b is 2 4 6 8 10 
then let's solve these two and after subtracting set b from the universal set we will get one three five seven and nine so this is the result of b complement so finally we have to find the a complement intersection b complement so we have these two sets of complements a complement is 7 8 9 and 10 and the set b we have is 1 3 5 7 and 9 so the common elements between these two sets are 7 and 9 so the result will be equals to 7 and 9 so the de morgan's law is verified that uh, a union b whole complement is equal to a complement intersection b complement so now we, we have the part b of this question so we have uh, set a b and c as given below that set a is 1 2 3 4 set b is minus 1 0 1 2 and set c is minus 1 plus 1 3 5 we have to place the elements of sets a b and c in the given diagram so as we can see these three sets are overlapping sets so so first of all let's see the common element in set a and b so in set a and b we have two common element one common element as one and the second is two so one and two are common between okay one is common in all three sets this one this one and this one these and this element one is common in all three sets so this is the portion where all the three circles are overlapping so we will place the common value at this point so this area represents one then we have to see the common elements in a and b that is two so the common element in a and b is 2 so we will place to here the common region of a and b then let's see the common element in set b and c so this minus 1 and this minus 1 this is the common element of b and c so we will place this minus 1 here then we will see the common elements in AC. So in A and C, we have this element 3 as common. So we will place this 3 here in the common region of A and C circle. Then uh, let's see set A. This element 4 is left that is uncommon with set b and c so the remaining element will be placed here in region a the remaining element of set b is zero so we will place zero here and last the five this is the element of c that is uncommon with a and b so we will place the five here so here we have the uh, filled label diagram vein diagram between these three sets a b and c thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to